The goal for today is gonna to be to check out Dead Horse State Park. And then tomorrow we're gonna to do the Corona Arch hike, which apparently is a hike outside of Arches National Park. It's dog friendly and it's supposed to be really cool. So excited for that. And then we're gonna check out Arches. So yeah, let's see what Dead Horse State Park has to offer. All right, so it was a beautiful day to come to Dead Horse Point State Park. Pretty sweet view. We're gonna get a better overlook at the end of this trail, but uh, this is what I like to see right here. There it is. Doggo is allowed. So yeah, it's like a mile round trip, half mile there, half mile back. Let's bang it out. We only have like two hours and uh, there's like two more hikes I want to do. So see if we can get that done before the sun goes down. Oh, this way, sir. I hope this is the trail. I mean, I'm trusting these footprints. Can't really see anything in the dirt, but it's along the rim. So I think we're good. Ooh. I am so out of shape, it's not even funny. I really need to get it together. I'm trying to jog through this and I'm out of breath already. Probably not even halfway there. All right, this is really cool. There are these little like water pools that are just frozen over. Look at that. I don't even want to risk walking over it. Might fall in. All right, I'm pretty sure I'm just following snow prints of people that don't know where they're going, but this seems like uh, it's probably the view here, right? This is why I don't like trails in the snow, but you gotta get out there sometimes, you know? Might try to go a little bit further. I see where the footsteps go. I mean, I doubt it brings you all the way out to that point there, but that would be pretty cool. Said it was only 0.25 miles more a little while ago, so I don't know. Oh, I was wrong. This is it here. All right, Jakaris, let's see this view of the Colorado River. Can't even see it. It's way back there. Pretty epic, but that took a little more time than expected, so uh, we gotta rush back. Jakaris spotted an animal. The benefit of it being so cold though is uh, you do get these trails to yourself, so this is pretty epic. You know, I've seen a lot of these desert overlooks, but this is probably one of the best. I mean, you got these crazy formations over there, you got the Colorado River, and you got those mountains back there, so I don't think it gets much better than this. But it is time to move on from Utah soon, so it's a little upsetting. Wow, this is almost like Horseshoe Bend, same kind of thing, but definitely not as scenic, but uh, it's pretty epic, honestly. I mean, wow. So I was just reading my little brochure and I learned why it's called Dead Horse Point State Park. And I had a feeling it wasn't good, but it's a little darker than I imagined. Back in the day, these cowboys rounded up a bunch of wild horses and corralled them all in here. And apparently there's this narrow bridge you come in on to get to this point. So they forced all the horses out here and uh, blocked them off from escaping basically. And then picked the ones they wanted and left the rest of them up here to die where they could literally see water which is what they needed to stay alive. And um, yeah, how f I mean, I don't know why they didn't just go back down the way they came, but super sad. Uh, so yeah, now that you guys know that, um, let's continue the trip. Yeah, it also said this park gets 10 inches of precipitation a year, so. It all came right now, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's not supposed to ever be snow here, but I guess it's just um, crazy times, right? Apparently there's record levels of standing water on all the trails and record levels of snow. Oof, I was a little bit taller. I could have hit my head on that. Probably check out one or two more viewpoints, but it's not going to be that much different. And uh, I'd rather get to camp while there's still some daylight out. I think we're going to get some uh, celebratory slash depressing dominoes tonight because we're going to leave Utah in the next couple days. I think this is the last night that I'll be camping close enough to the dominoes to get there and uh, eat it warm. All right, headed out on the last trail here. It's getting pretty chilly. Good thing I didn't decide to camp here because the sites are just pavement, so I don't like that. I usually like dirt or at least gravel or something for Jakaris to feel bad on pavement. Yeah, so I uh, can't really tell how long this whole excursion is gonna be, but I think I'm just gonna hit two more overlooks and save the third for another time when it's not freezing and I'm camping here maybe. All right, honestly, this is a little sketchy. I uh, have no idea where we're going. I'm losing sunlight and there's a bunch of cross trails that are confusing me to get back. So hopefully I can navigate my way, but I don't understand how much further this viewing point is. I guess we'll just keep following tracks. All right, well, there's no sign, but we have to assume that this is it. 
Yeah, pretty epic again, but more of the same. I think um, we're gonna call it for Dead Horse State Park Point at this point. Probably be cooler to come back here with uh, the trails more visible. So I'm not worried about getting lost, but um, yeah, we're just gonna hope I can make it back to the car and then head straight for Domino's. Oh, thank God. I just saw the sign and we're on the trail back to the campground we parked at. I was uh, actually just starting to get worried because there was a lot of a lot of uh, ways to go. Just trying to remember which way I came. But yeah, the last turn I made, I didn't think I was going back onto the rim trail yet, but apparently I was. And then I just came across my little campground sign but oh that could have been bad i have no service out here so yeah that'll do it for dead horse point state park two little mini hikes probably like three miles total and then uh one viewpoint hike so pretty good stuff i think oh god i think these are like wounded animal tracks i think that's blood what the hell oh god we're gonna get killed out here find out what that means bobby get in here nice yeah So today is the day for the final national park of Utah. We're ending it off with Arches National Park. But before we head in there, there's actually a dog-friendly trail with two arches, three if you're feeling adventurous and want to add a little distance. But uh, yeah, it's actually a pretty quick hike. It's a mile out and a mile back. So I don't even think I'm going to bring water, but we're probably going to bring the drone and um, yeah, it should be a fun time. Apparently it's not too crowded this time of year, so we might have the whole thing to ourselves, which would be super nice, but Grand Staff is pretty packed. That was also a weekend when I went to do that, so yeah, should be fun. Let's do it. All right, we're out here on the Corona Arch Trail. Mr. Carlos is sniffing everything we pass. Yeah, so there's a little side trail here to the Pinto Arch, but um, I don't know if it's worth it. I don't see anything that crazy over there. So yeah, I think we're about halfway. I have too many layers on, as usual. I'm like sweating right now, but uh, there's nothing I can really do because I don't even have any room in my backpack for the sweatshirt, so we're carrying on. Apparently there's a section that's hard for dogs. It's like a ladder, so we're gonna hope Dracarys can go around it. Or if not, I brought his climbing harness that I can literally just pick him up with handles from the front and back, so that'll be fun. I guess this is the part they were talking about. It looks pretty vertical to me. We'll see if this guy can just get up it or uh, I might have to throw him over my shoulder and um, just go up one-handed. So let's do it. All right, buddy, come on, this is the way. This way, come on, come on. Nice. Nice, come on, keep going, come on. Yes, nice. Nice, bud. Good job. Nice! Oh, that looks cool. What a beast. Jakaris, you're a beast, you know that? A literal... Yeah, up, come on! And now he just took the hard... Oh, there's a little ladder. Oh, this is the part here. I might have to pick him up for this. Go up around this way, come on. Bubby, up the side. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Hey. Relax. Right. Just like the tent, though. Oh, Whew. all right, 
little rougher than expected, but we did it. Got kicked in the head. Oh man, nice job, Bubbersons. All right, we made it. There's the Corona arch, and that is the Bowtie arch. Uh, I don't see the trail markers anymore, so I guess they just assume once you can see them from over there that uh, you'll be able to figure it out on your own. It's pretty hot, actually, now that we're out here, but there's some shade on the way back, so uh, take a little break after I get some pics. We'll go walk under the Corona arch over there, maybe fly the drone through that hole. We'll see what happens. Wow, this is pretty cool. It's not even like an arch, just like a hole in the sky. Ooh, there's some bugs. Nice. I've spotted my first desert lizard of this trip. Not sure if you can see him under this rock. He might scurry away. But look at that guy. What a cool guy. Wow. Hey, what's up, dude? Chilling? All right, I'll leave you alone now. Come on, Bubby. All right, so we're gonna go walk through the Corona Arch. You know, it's funny, Corona is what started this whole thing, you know? When the world went to shit, I decided I needed a Jeep to be able to uh, escape if things got real and um, live out of off the grid. So walking to this Corona Arch in Utah really, um, sums up the trip pretty well. And Utah was one of the places I wanted to visit the most. I'd heard how cool it was and it did not disappoint even though the weather was probably the worst it could be for every place that I went. I still had an awesome time here and we're finally about to wrap up Utah in the next couple days here. So walking through the Corona Arch right now is gonna be very poetic. Oh yeah, so this is pretty epic, man. So glad I actually got to see one of these arches up close because I'm not gonna be able to see any in the national park, so yeah. Oh, there she goes, there's the arch. <laughs> so sick, honestly. So freaking cool. We've actually seen a couple natural bridges or arches on this trip and we got to go on top of one, but we haven't got to walk under one yet, so that was pretty cool. Also pretty crazy, look at these caves up there. It literally looks like a face that's kind of creepy. So yeah, there you have it, two arches in one hike. We got Corona and Bowtie. Pretty pissed I couldn't get my drone through there. Got to obey the max altitude limit. But uh, yeah, didn't even take us that long. And uh, now we're gonna go check out Arches National Park. And as you know, the only thing we can do there is check out the viewpoints. So uh, maybe we'll get a cool sunset over one of the arches or something like that. I'm hopeful it'll be a fun trip still, you know? Sometimes Jakaris is so good, I feel like he sees the green trail markers and he's following them. Or he's just really smart and takes the path of least resistance and that's the way they marked it. Either way, I love him. All right guys, if you're still watching, I just wanna say thank you so much as usual. You have no idea how much I appreciate you. I spent a little extra time editing this one because I think it has potential to blow up, so I hope you really enjoyed it. I can honestly say that these two days were probably some of the best adventures I had on the entire trip. It was a great way to wrap up Utah, but we're not done just yet. We still have to hit Arches National Park and attempt at least one crazy off-road trail in Moab, so definitely be on the lookout for that. All right, now for the rest of the video. Don't click away yet. really cool you can see the railroad here right next to the Colorado River just think about the people back in the Wild West that would just come through here and get to see all this on a train ride going who knows where or all the people that ship stuff across the country going this way Ooh, wild I don't even know what I'm talking about this could be a modern railroad for all I know <laughs> but yeah 
let's uh, get to this barbed wire and then cross the railroad and we're home free. people pulled over on the side of the road climbing literally just roots all along the side of this road you can just park get out and start climbing I was thinking about moving to Utah and um, it's been a weird experience here so far but I don't know Moab's looking pretty good off-roading hiking climbing what more can you ask for we're right by Colorado I mean I don't know. Moab is a top contender on places to move. But yeah, one day we'll go back and check out those climbs. I mean, they're roped climbs, so I would need a partner and um, they look pretty hard. But now that I know that they're there, I'm like seeing all these roots chalked up all the way up this wall. So cool. I can see one arch over there. I think there's another one over there. Alright, so there's Delicate Arch uh, way off in the distance. 